so there is a bit of a an ulterior motive to having the fire as well and that's the fact that we've got a whole bunch of laundry which hasn't quite dried yet and we were hoping it was going to be sunny this afternoon and out of nowhere as has been the theme of this year very changeable weather it just the heavens opened up it went from a beautiful day to just chucking it down with rain so they're not quite dry we'll crack open a couple of hatches get some through air coming through and uh yeah that beautiful dry heat from the fire will hopefully get them over the line so with winds coming in from the east we were safely anchored up here in st moors but with the wind due to shift directions back round to the prevailing southwesterlies, we moved Kadoa to yet another new anchorage for us, to this idyllic location called Bream Cove. Today might be one of the first videos this season that we're not featuring an anchorage basking in glorious late summer sunshine uh, in all its glory and, and the main reason is because it's not sunny. But there is uh, a bit of a theme to today's video and that is anchorage hopping because we were over at Flat Point which was incidentally beautifully sunny uh, and then the wind shifted and the wind's going to continue shifting over the next few days so we are literally only going to be able to stop where we are now which is a place called Bream Cove uh, for the night and then we're going to need to move and then over the course of the next few days as the wind shifts from every direction possible we're going to bounce into whichever anchorages we can we're going to share them with you so this video might consist of two three four five anchorages I don't know yet um, but what we do know is there are some strong easterly winds heading our way some strong gale force at times easterly winds and rather than running and hiding to a marina which is perfectly sensible by the way I'm not knocking anybody who does that the theme of this year is new anchorages and we're battle testing them wherever possible we've been in a couple of anchorages so far this season and we've been perfectly fine in gale force winds and we've shared them with you here on Godot.com and we've earmarked a couple for these strong easterlies that are heading our way uh, and again we're going to get inside we're going to we're going to get the hook buried in and then we're going to see we're going to see how it goes and if it's great we'll let you know and if it's terrible we'll let you know again we'll pop them all onto Godot.com on our anchorages section and then hopefully over time the more we get stuck into the more we battle test hopefully the more useful that resource become for everybody over the course of time but since we're here let's go see what we can find You strike a match, I think. Climate change, my dear. That can't be possible. Well, I don't know. It looks... I mean, we've had a hot September, but. Bananas. It is bananas. If you find yourself over here, even if you just come over and anchor for the day, for the afternoon, or the night, really, jumping off and having a look around these magnificent gardens, 
definitely worthwhile. Would you look at the colour of that water? Well, that was a bit touch and go. So I was nearly at the end of my air. Uh, I, I was about 45 minutes into the dive and I was just about to call it a day. And then I went to have a little look around this, this big boulder that was under the water. And these little antennae just came out to see what was going on. And I was like, ah, oh, lobster, amazing. It looked like a good sized lobster as well. And then all of a sudden my alarm starts going off on the, on the hooker system. Uh, you could probably hear it better on the video than I even could under the water. But I was like, no. So that meant the battery was about to go flat, which means I was fairly rapidly about to be running out of air. So you normally have about five minutes left when the alarm goes off, but that thankfully was enough time to perform the extraction and get this absolutely stunning. Check this out. This is a male lobster. Oh, really nice size lobster. Look at the size of that claw. That's insane. Put guy back in there. Oh, I almost don't want to leave this spot, but Salavi, imagine, just imagine how good this would look with a bit of sunshine too. This is just oh, so good. I'm definitely going to come back here and have a really good look around when the weather's good. But between you and I, I got a funny feeling that Carly wasn't convinced I'd find anything. So I imagine she's got something out of the freezer. So this is going to be a real treat when she sees we've got a lobster. All right, let's get back. Until next time. Just got back to Godoa and it smells like there's a fire going. <laughs> That's just perfect. Gonna have a nice hot shower and sit in front of the fire and eat lobster. Oh, look at that, the only sun we've had all day. Just trying to break through the clouds. It's almost like Mother Nature knew that I needed to get out of a wetsuit right now. But I'll take it. Thank you.